You know what they say? Once you drop out of high school, it's game over. Well, hold on to your graduation caps because Doja Cat just flipped that script upside down and inside out. While the rest of us were trying to survive high school drama and algebra nightmares, Doja was busy cooking up beats in her bedroom. She said, adios, school desks. I'm making my own kind of music. And guess what? The world couldn't resist the flavor she was serving. Today's video is all about her journey. So buckle up for the perfect success story of Doja Cat a total internet sensation born and bred on the wild plains of social media. You might be wondering, why the name Doja Cat? Doja Cat isn't just some random stage name. Nope, it's got a backstory as colorful as her music. Back in the day, when she was just a teen vibing with her cat and enjoying some good old Mary Jane, she decided to pick a name that felt right. And what did she come up with? Doja, inspired by her favorite strain of weed. But hey, She's grown since then, and now she's not all about that pothead persona. In fact, she's even hinted that she's not all too thrilled about it anymore. She's evolving just like her music. Let's break down the life of Amala, or better known as Doja Cat. She was born on October 21st, 1995, in the lively neighborhood of Tarzana, Los Angeles. Her parents, well, we've got Deborah Sawyer, a graphic designer with Jewish roots, and Dumisani Dlamini, a performer from South Africa, known for his role in the musical Sarafina, an artistic couple to say the least. Now, here's where things get a bit tangled. Her parents had a fling in New York City, but her dad was mostly on tour, so he wasn't around much during her early years. Eventually, Amala and her brother moved to Rye, New York, to live with their grandma for a while. Then, at the age of eight, they shifted back to Cali, settling in a cool-sounding commune in Agora Hills. They were all about that hippie vibe, practicing Hinduism and all. But for young Amala, it wasn't all sunshine and rainbows. She felt like she couldn't really be a kid with all the rules and rituals. After a few years, they moved again, this time to Oak Park. That's where things started picking up for her. She got into dance, hitting up breakdancing classes, and even joining a pro-pop locking crew. Can you imagine her busting moves in dance battles all over LA? School wasn't really her thing, though. She'd rather hang out in online chat rooms than sit through class. By 11th grade, she was over it. Music and performing were her jam, so she dropped out at just 16, citing struggles with ADHD. But you know what? That dropout didn't stop her. It just fueled her fire. And look at her now, ruling the charts and rocking stages worldwide as Doja Cat. It just goes to show, sometimes the unconventional path leads to the coolest destinations. After dropping out of school, Doja Cat's life got pretty chaotic. She crashed on the floor, glued to her computer, scavenging beats from YouTube day and night. Obsessed with internet culture, she taught herself to sing, rap, and use GarageBand, cooking up tunes at home and dropping them on SoundCloud. In 2012, she uploaded her first track, So High, marking the start of her journey. She hustled in the LA hip-hop scene, rocking parties and connecting with fellow artists like Buzz Driver and Il Camille. One lucky break came when producer Jerry Powell stumbled upon her SoundCloud. He introduced her to Yeti Beats, who opened his studio doors in Echo Park, giving her a safe haven from her home struggles. Yeti Beats then hooked her up with Kemo Sabe Records, which was part of RCA Records, where she signed at just 17. Sweet deal, right? She also got a taste of the spotlight with her debut EP, Purr, dropping in 2014. Her track So High even got featured featured on the TV show Empire. Talk about making moves. But life wasn't all sunshine and rainbows. She hit a creative wall, turning down collabs with big names like Billie Eilish due to writer's block. Plus, her record labels weren't giving her the attention she craved. So she took a break, trying to find herself and maybe cut back a bit on the Mary Jane. Hey, we've all been there, right? After a little break from the music scene and the so-so reception of her debut album, Amala, Doja Cat bounced back big time in 2018. In February 2018, she dropped Roll With Us, marking her return to the music game after a brief hiatus. But it was the following month when things really started heating up. She released Go To Town as the lead single from her debut album, along with a flashy music video. Then she followed it up with Candy, setting the stage for what was to come. But it wasn't until she unleashed Moo onto the world in August 2018 that things went absolutely bonkers. This quirky novelty track where she hilariously claims to be a cow took the internet by storm. 
storm. We're talking viral meme status here. The homemade music video for Moo was a total DIY masterpiece and people couldn't get enough. Within a week, it racked up over 3 million views. And guess what? It didn't stop there. It kept on moving up, eventually amassing a whopping 578 million views. Now, you might think a song about being a cow is just a joke, but it turned out to be a game changer for Doja Cat. Despite her own thoughts on it being a throwaway track, Moo! set the tone for her career and proved she was more than just your average artist. Thanks to the overwhelming demand, Moo got an official release on digital platforms leading to even more buzz. And with the release of the deluxe edition of Amala featuring Moo and other hits like Tia Tamera, Doja Cat solidified her place as a force to be reckoned with in the music world. After the whole Moo craze, she didn't just milk her newfound fame, she turned it into a full-blown career explosion. In 2019, she dropped her second studio album, Hot Pink, and boy, did it sizzle. It climbed all the way to the top 10 of the US Billboard 200 chart, making everyone sit up and take notice. And then came Say So, the track that took her to the next level. When she teamed up with Nicki Minaj for the remix, it soared to the number one spot on the Billboard Hot 100. Talk about a power move, but she didn't stop there. Doja kept slaying with her third album, Planet Her, in 2021. It spent a solid four weeks hanging out near the top of the Billboard 200, and tracks like Kiss Me More and Need To Know were all over the charts. Then, just when you thought she couldn't get any hotter, she dropped her fourth studio album, Scarlet, in 2023. This time, she went for a more hip-hop vibe, and boy, did it pay off? The lead single, Paint the Town Red, went ballistic, topping charts left, right and center, even hitting number one in the US and UK. Plus, the album itself debuted in the top five in multiple countries, cementing her status as a global superstar. But it's not just her music that's got everyone talking. Doja Cat's got serious skills on the mic, a knack for catchy melodies, and a stage presence that's pure fire. Plus, she's a master of the internet, with viral videos and performances that keep fans coming back for more. So, Doja Cat isn't just slaying the music scene, she's making serious bank outside of it too. She's collabed with some big names like Ariana Grande, Nicki Minaj, and The Weeknd, making her mark in the industry. Her monthly income is estimated to be a whopping $90,000. Yeah, you heard that right. That's some serious cash flow every month. And it's not just music that's filling up her bank account. She's also teamed up with major brands like Calvin Klein and Prada, boosting her net worth with those high-paying deals. Her YouTube channel is a goldmine too, with a whopping 11.4 million subscribers and videos pulling in millions of views. I'm talking an average of 260 million views per video. You do the math, that's some serious coin rolling in. Plus, her music's all over the streaming platforms, from Spotify to Apple Music, bringing in royalties left and right. And let's not forget her own fashion line, it's giving featuring cool gear like trucker hats and graphic tees. With all this success, it's no wonder she's racked up a shelf full of awards, from Grammys to MTV Video Music Awards. She's taking the world by storm, one hit song and fashion line at a time. And hey, with her talent and hustle, there's no telling how far she'll go. She's definitely one of the biggest names in music right now, who started from nothing. And hey, when Time Magazine calls you one of the most influential people in the world, you know you're doing something right. So what's the moral of this story? Well, it's simple. Chase your dreams like a cat chasing a laser pointer. Be bold, be fearless, and who knows? You might just end up ruling the internet like Doja Cat herself.